Now, oh, now we're recording. You best be on your best behavior. What's that? I've got one more thing to do real quick and then I'll get us kicked off for real. Oh, this is perfect. Um, now that Mr. Tinsel Spice has joined us, welcome all for our final, it's our final meeting before the holiday. Uh, maybe not our final before the new year though, right? We've got one more next uh, weekend after next. No, that would be the fifth, fifth right. Wednesday, right? So we, this is our final meeting of the year. It has been so fabulous, 2020. So let's all raise a glass to not see each other until next year. Cool. Once we will have all these fabulous holiday stories to share. All right, so. Tonight, I thought we'd have a very serious meeting, obviously, incredibly I mean, serious. You know, in, in keeping with who I am as a person, truly, I think that we're going to have the most serious meeting of the year. We're going to start this incredibly serious meeting um, because my kids had a snow day today. I want to hear from everybody or anybody what your favorite snow day memory is. Snow day memory. Minnesota, we had quite a few of them growing up. But yeah. Been a while. Anything, listening, anything stick out? Listening to WCCO radio and just waiting for them to call the name of my school. Hey, you know, <laughs> talk about radio. Um, it seemed like on snow days, and I don't remember how old I was, but this is back in the day when you used to wait for the song that you had requested to come on, and you yeah. sit there with your finger right over the play button. Record so you button. Yeah. I think I, I remember spending a snow day trying to record like two of my favorite songs on a tape cassette at one point. Yeah, we, we definitely spent an entire snow day calling, trying to call into CK 105 out, out of Flint to get on the radio, which never happens, by the way. Never happens. They never played never. my song or whatever it was. My absolutely no experience was I was in, in, in school still. Uh, but it was in the uh, 10th grade, so I was pretty much over. And the school was a little bit more further, so we had to go with buses over there. It's not like here school buses, it's normal public bus system, right? So, and we was in the class that had uh, also lessons in the afternoon. So, and around 11, it starts snowing like hell snowing like hell and we was looking out of the window we had a pause in the between and then the most of the kids leaving around one o'clock that was a time when the most was done with all the lessons and we were still in school and it snows and it snows and it snows when we came out it was something like 2 30 in the afternoon the whole traffic and the whole city was broken together because nobody, no bus was can driving anymore in the, the snow because it was wet. It was a wet snow. It was ice underneath. So there was no traffic happened. And I had to go uh, walk at home because, and it was minimum oh. 10 miles, something like that to go Up home. Uphill, both ways. You know, so and I started to walking and I fall down several times because it was so slippery. And then I started to go to my dad's work because I wanted to go home with him. He was there with the car and it took me normally for this way. Maybe you need half an hour. It took me nearly an hour to get to him. And we had no phones at this time to say, hey, hey, can you take me with you? So that was a really horrible snow day in my, what I can remember on. We, um, we used to have quite a few snow days in Holly because there's so many uh, dirt roads out like in Jerry, where Jerry and Rory were. There's so many roads that were so hard to get down because it was snowy. Um, you know that, that railroad track right near my house, that little bitty hill that comes up it? That's where Kent Barnes used to go and check to see whether or not he's going to call snow day or not. That makes sense. That when makes the, a lot of sense. When his kid was in high school, my kids figured that out. And about six or seven of them went out there and iced the road. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. My house, uh, my house was downtown in our little town that we lived in. And our driveway, you know, the road was here and our driveway came down and then was flat. 
And I used to park my tiny little three cylinder Geo Metro at the, at the bottom, where, right where it was. And the plows came through one day and plowed and had completely buried my car. I literally had snow on top of my car and we did not have a snow day. <laughs> I had to shovel my entire car out. So Ute, hey, with, considering your pictures there in Germany and how you ranted on about them, I thought that was the first time you saw snow. Me? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but it's beautiful, right? The I had that impression when you were talking about it. <laughs> no, that's not the first one. I, you know, there's so many. So the other thing is, can you drive in, in snow or not? In, in Germany, we have this winter tiles, and it's a little bit different mixture of the, the metro. And uh, it's, I love to walk in snow because it's so quiet all the time, and it makes it every step you're walking, right? So, but if I have a, a chance to say snow or sun, I would show sun. I think it's more, I'm not a skiing person, you know, so I love to walk. And it, also if it's really cold, but uh, if I have a chance, I will choice, well, my choice will always be in the sun. So it's more comfortable and you can make more, so. I take hey, the um, sun. Yeah, I'll take the you sun. Do. Welcome, thank you for joining us, Mr. Twinkle Sparkles. <laughs> Piggy Jingle Sparkles there, uh, who is obviously a cousin of Chestnut Twinkle Sparkles, uh, uh, has been working on a video that she wanted to share. So Linda, are you setting up her video? Let me you don't, hold on. Okay. Well, that's who Figgy is. Figgy Jingle Sparkles there is, um, that's Linda's DJ name. <laughs> All right, here you go. All right. God, he just sent me his picture. Oh, okay. Video. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Doggerty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me, Mr. Hey Golden there. Toes. Good to see you. Mr. All. Treacle Tart Golden Toes. Thank you so much Happy for joining us. <laughs> Likewise. Oh, Rob, you lost your name. We're no, losing no. losing house power here. Oh no. That's the the Santa effect. We gotta come up with an I don't remember what was so you get a new one do we have snow too rob a uh, couple inches maybe oh. th three or four inches okay yeah we got snow we here about, we had about six inches before the rain started not so much now what do you guys have blair oh we got maybe a you know inch so where, where, where are you today. you're up north yeah yeah thornbury yeah. North of Toronto. Yep. So that's not even snow. Like I'm a little disappointed in your Canadian nest right now that you just said you have snow when you got about an inch. That's not even, <laughs> I think that's uh, that July numbers. Mm -hmm. well, I don't really want to make you feel bad, but it's from the US. Yeah. It's, it's t shirt weather here. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> So I, um, I was telling him when, when we first started that I got up this morning, I had a company party at noon and it was mandatory from the CEO that we wear uh, funny Christmas sweaters or pajamas. So obviously I chose pajamas because why not? But I got up and got cute and then put pajamas back on. And I 
uh, not gotten out of my pajamas today. <laughs> I'm quite okay with this. I got pajama bottoms on. I, uh, I definitely went in my car to Starbucks in my pajamas. <laughs> That's not the new feature on these video conferencing apps. It's not just virtual background, but virtual clothes. Yeah, well, actually, so um, I don't know if you can tell, but I have virtual lipstick on. Do I know? All right. I don't know, it's virtual. Oh, all right. Um, we're going to let Deb, Deb's, Deb's got a, Deb has a uh, elfin name already with templates. I feel like we should, we could do something with that. Hi, Deb. Hello. I mean, um, Fizzy templates. Dolly, <laughs> fizzy. Wait, fizzy. What did you say, fizzy? Fizzy templates. <laughs> no, you can't use your real name. It's got to be close. Fizzy. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I, I got one. Okay, good. You get to pick your own because I've been making everybody else's up. Oh, wait, I think I spelled it wrong. Hold on. <laughs> it's obviously, yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. So let's see. What's my next? What's my next random question? So we were talking about, oh, so I was curious, I saw something I kind of liked. We all live in different places. We all have different traditions and there's a lot of local things that people do. So I'm curious where you guys physically live. What are some things that you have around the holidays that you do or eat or go to? It would be, you know, kind of unique to where you are. Hmm. I've tried to do, I've tried to revive the Minnesota tradition of um, Lutefisk, but it's just not happening with this family. What? No Lutefisk. Lutefisk? You know Lutefisk? Anybody know Lutefisk? Those people have taken it. Is. Oh, the sparkly helmet? It has to do with the <laughs> Norsk ancestry, yes. It's well, you need a spear with your magic helmet. <laughs> a sword a and a spear. A magic and helmet. Energy. Just ask his <laughs> bunny. Yes. Magic coming. Oh, oh, oh. My sword is off at the sharpeners right now. Shield is up for polishing. But uh, <laughs> just ask Bob. I, I changed everybody's names and I'm missing somebody for, for uh, attendance and I can't figure out who it is now. <laughs> all right. I'll get you all before the before the meeting's over. Um, so, uh, so Scott tried unsuccessfully to revive the Ludifisk tradition. Do, were you able to at least get some loop? What is it? Lof, Lofka? Is that what it's called? Lefka. Lefka. There is a store in Berkeley called the Nordic House, and I can buy Lefsa and some Rolapulsa there. Um, and my wife does make the the Sutsipa, which is a, a fruit soup served hot or cold, and. Um, there's also the Christmas morning pastry that my mother used to make. And so we have that. Nice. And aqua nice. is kind of part of the tradition. Well, it's not fair here, but I know that Jerry's hometown, at least the, the I'm sorry, the, the that he's in a suburb of, if we can call it that. Suburb. Has, there you go. Has a... Uh, <laughs> oh, John. Oh, I saw that the other day. I saw that. <laughs> And the matching ears <laughs> on the slippers. Oh, so cute. Great. Nice, John. Yeah. Very, very cute, John. Yes. <laughs> ah. But it's more for Easter. Right. I if, you have nice seen, if you've ever seen Christmas Story, you've seen that honey suit. Oh, nee. uh, no. I, I have yeah, not. Uta, that's a hello. American tradition. That, that, I, I watched it outfit. in my life. It was last week, and it'll be the last time I ever watch it. <laughs> but I know Jerry's jealous. <laughs> oh, that's no, Jerry. You like that one? Nice. Mm. So in, uh, in the town where I grew up with, Here's in, another one. with you know, Jerry and Oh, nice. Is that right now? Is it, Jerry? Yep. No. <laughs> Do you have something like the snow, the snow, the motorcycle on in the snow? How you call it? The a snowmobile. snowmobile. Mobile. Oh, snowmobile. motorcycle with spikes on the tires. Yeah, but uh, but I'm I'm more talking about the snowmobile. I snowmobile. 
Yeah, I think they are. What, what I don't have one. No. I don't like the snow. <laughs> yeah, who who loved that? No, but I'll bet you got a snow blower. There you go. Oh God, yeah. You must have snow where you are, Jerry. We actually only have a dusting today. Huh. This is a dusting. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I have to to look for one picture. Last year it was so snowy in the. Alps. I think this was last year. I'm not sure. Yes, because there was a lot of snow in Europe too, and there is a picture from a, a a bus. It's standing on a road. The road is clean, and the walls next to that it's it's so mm -hmm. high, only snow. It was, you know, somewhere in Switzerland. It was amazing how much snow there was, and the bus looks very tiny in this big snow area unbelievable one thing i noticed when we were living down south we lived um just outside of miami for a year i feel like the fact that there was no snow and no it didn't really feel like christmas but you had all of these northern transplants um everything was like uber christmas like there are so many lights and so many trees and it was so funny to see all of the palm trees decorated and and everything. So I'm going with that is I'm curious, David General, who lives in the south. Yeah. About, what about your town? What do you guys have that you do that's uh, kind of unique to your area around the holidays? I mean, um, you know, we have a, a Christmas parade. We have a tree lighting. I mean, it's pretty typical stuff. Uh, but we do um, the the uh, parade and the tree lighting end up at the uh, Town Hall, which has a moonshine museum, and they actually make moonshine and give it out to people. So it's kind of a fun party. Wow, that sounds like something we should all go join. Yeah. We have ice skating, you know, just the regular stuff. My family, um, so we're boycotting Christmas kind of this year. Uh, we're going to Disney World. Uh, when are you going? Uh, the 27th. How long are you going to be there? Five days. I'll be there on the 1st. Cool. <laughs> Fort Wilderness. Uh, we're staying at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got cabins down there. Um, so we started doing this. Uh, it, we do it every few years. Sometimes we'll take a cruise. Sometimes we'll go to a destination. Uh, one time we did Thanksgiving in Vegas. But uh, um, so it, the kids, you know, they, they have everything. I asked them one Christmas or just before Christmas, you know, what did you get last year? They couldn't tell me. I'm like, well, I'm, I'd rather spend the money on a memory. So, uh, so we do that from time to time. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. One of the most amazing Christmases that we ever did, we, we only got one thing for the kids. Literally, they came down the stairs and they had one tiny box under the tree. And in that box were the Disney fans. And we took them for two days to Disney and then on a cruise. And it was awesome. And I have, I'll, I'll try to find the picture while we're here tonight. I'll show you guys the picture of the, their faces when they realized what we were doing. It was so cool. It was a lot easier when they were younger. <laughs> True. Now they just cost you cars. I know. Cars that are currently plowed in, they can't even move them right now. <laughs> how, how old are they now? Uh, 16 and 19. Ah. Yeah. Mine are all in their 20s, but they will go anywhere we, we take them as long as we pay for it. As long as you pay. That's <laughs> yeah. you have boyfriends and girlfriends and stuff, too, but it's okay. You know? yeah. Is that the way it is with all kids? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're not special. <laughs> no. Oh, let's see. Who else can we call on? How about around you? Well, the only tradition we have is uh, baking sugar cookies. My wife was from Pennsylvania, and it's one of those things that uh, she likes to do every year. I don't care for them, but... <laughs> but it's fun. Do you decorate them, or does Make she just... Them. Yeah. We're in Pennsylvania. Uh, she's from Waynesboro. Waynesboro. I used, to, I used to bake cookies every year until my brother says they're just an icing delivery system because he loves icing. I don't, I don't know, man. I make some pretty fantastic lemon sugar cookies. I feel like maybe. I doubt it. Oh, you're doubting me. I don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, I see your, I see what you're Prove doing. it. Okay. Prove it. I figured that's where you were going. 
Oh, uh, let's see. Um, who else we got? Talk to let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Rory, how about over where you guys are? I know that you guys have been over on the west side of the state for quite a long time now. What about uh, what about over by you? Is there anything? Do you ever go to Haven for the Christmas parade or anything? Nope. <laughs> no, we don't do much over here. Go see the kids on the other side of the state and up north. That makes sense. We uh, are at we are at the sleep in and see the kids later in the day, maybe age. <laughs> but we were just talking to our kids about how nice it is that we don't have to get up early and we have to get up when the dog tells us we have to get up, but that's not six AM. So one of the things we started I have to get up. I have to get up when my bladder says it's time to get up. <laughs> well, I, I'll get up then. That doesn't mean I have to stay up. <laughs> That's about 3 a.m., right, John? <laughs> Anybody else's kids yeah. have gotten into this elf thing? Into what? Elf on the shelf? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. I don't know when that appeared, but my son-in-law goes at it big time. Yeah, it's a pain in the elf. Actually, I love, I love watching their uh, their things that they have their elf do. It's hilarious. We have a male and a female elf, and sometimes it gets kind of dicey. <laughs> That's probably the reason I don't need to have one. I'll share with you what today was here. If, if I'm allowed, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, there's today's elf on the show. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And I was over there today, and oh, my little grandson, he's five, Jackson, was so upset. I was going to touch him and move him. That was not allowed. You no, cannot you touch. To touch. You Here. cannot touch. I, what the hell's name of this thing? Jacob. <laughs> Gary, can you send a pic that picture to me? My kids have to up their game. I got to show them that. <laughs> oh, God. Let me look at, uh, see what else he's got in here. This was Jenga yesterday, playing Jenga. <laughs> what else do we have? He had some really strange ones. I'll tell you what, this year. This year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not screaming. Mr. Jingleberry, you're not uh, sharing your screen anymore. Oh, I'm not? No. Oh, this one was, this one's hilarious. This was, uh, let me share it again. This is a, like a week ago. <laughs> oh. He got the dinosaur dinosaurs into the uh, the gingerbread houses. They were really upset at at Jacob that day. <laughs> the dinosaurs <laughs> tore them all up. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you want me to send to you, David? Those pictures. Those are great. I like to show my kids that. When my kids were little, huh. we um. We, were tra we always traveled around Christmas and we'd come back home to Michigan, either from Colorado or Florida or here, wherever we were. And we would always leave before Christmas, but be home by Christmas day. Maybe not right first thing in the morning, but be home by Christmas day. And so we got into the habit of leaving Coke and jerky for Santa because you can't leave milk and cookies a week before Christmas. So we have always left Coke and jerky since the kids, I think, were maybe three and one to four and one. So, you know, silly little things there. So, so if you guys go to Pinterest, there's all kinds of elf on the shelf ideas on Pinterest. Tons. And then I got the most amazing cookie cutters. They are ninja bread men. They're gingerbread men, but they're in like ninja shapes. <laughs> Those are some favorites. Yeah, Jerry's like, I still don't believe you. Yeah, I kind of. Nope, I kinda not know. at all. You're going to have to prove it, man. <laughs> Figure when I've got some helpers, I'll start decorating cookies again. I mean, I still make cookies. I just don't do the cutouts with the icing anymore, just because it's such a pain to decorate them all by myself. Yeah, I, I usually, we used to, every year I just give them out to the neighbors. We take them down to the fire station and the police station. But this year with COVID, I don't want anybody to be sketchy about eating stuff. So I'm not sure. We're, I guess we're going to have to eat all of them ourselves. Which yeah, is no, but I, this is the first year I haven't made any. I mean, I've made cookies, just not the cutouts. Jonathan made a pumpkin pie tonight because why not? It's a snow day. It's a snow day, right? Oh, uh, let's see. So I have a question for everybody as we are quite a well-traveled group. What is the farthest away from home you've been on Christmas? Got you all. Eva, Switzerland. 
I don't know. I, I was in Vietnam one year. <laughs> Cunderdon, Western Australia. It's about as far away from here as you can get. West, where you were in Western Australia is about as far away from everything in Australia. <laughs> everything from uh, basically Iowa to New York, the furthest away you can get is, is Western Australia. Furthest I've been at Christmas is Madrid. Madrid, you said, David? Too Harden, Belgium. Oh, Belgium. But it's a pretty place to be. Belgium oh, yeah. yeah. have the best chocolate ever. Oh, yeah. yeah. Leonidas is the best. Would agree. Oh, frozen. Fun, fun. I ironically, with all the traveling that I've done, I've always been home for Christmas. I, I guess I'll with take me? that as a win. I had a frozen picture. What you said, David? Uh, the chocolate. Uh, Leona Doss is my favorite Belgian chocolate. Uh, I can't remember the, there's a little store uh, and I'm not a chocolate eater because most of the chocolate is too sweet for me, but uh, they have a white one with the almond inside and I love that. But I have to think about what the name is. It's a very famous and you buy it, can buy it only in uh, Belgium and the fresh speculatius. It's also very nice in Belgium. A lot of butter, definitely. <laughs> you get a bread, put butter on it, and you put chocolate sprinkles on it. That's a meal. Yes. <laughs> we made it with less quick. Yeah. As kids, uh, we made it with less uh, quick. Nutella. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little disappointed that I didn't discover Nutella until I was like 30. I feel I'm like really glad I did and I did uh, twice my size. I mean, that's 100% true. Like, I, I love it. I'm like, I'm going to make a Nutella sandwich for lunch as if it's like a lunch food. <laughs> oh, and put it on a banana. I mean, yeah. Selfie. Or on a waffle. Oh, so good. On a waffle, on a pancake. I mean, really. A spoon. Oh, Brussels sprouts. I mean, <laughs> Oh, Brussels sprouts would be that great. Have you seen that? Uh, have you seen that prank where somebody takes Brussels sprouts and wraps them in the Ferrero Rocher? <laughs> <laughs> they dip, dip them in chocolate and then wrap them in the Ferrero Rocher. It's like, it's like the guy that takes the onion and dips it in caramel. Gives it yeah. to the kid like a caramel apple. <laughs> I mean, they're really mean parents in this world. I Never. hate. We're just making the kids stronger and more resilient. The That's world, it. the world That's is a hard it. place. Yeah. Or do they just never trust you again? They never trust you again, but that's okay. <laughs> We've always had a rule in our house that you don't have to like it, but you have to try everything twice. Yeah, but a chocolate covered onion, that's just... <laughs> <laughs> But also, if I won't eat it, they don't have to eat it. So the only thing, the worst thing I ever did with the kids was pickle juice or a lemon when they were little. And they make juices. That's awesome. All right, who would like to share the strangest Christmas gift you ever got? Mm. Nobody willing to fess up. So Mike and I. We got my dog um, in, at Black Friday, around Black Friday of 2010. And she is a husky mix and sheds as though her very life depends upon it. And for Christmas, we exchanged the exact same green pet perfect dust buster. <laughs> and the kids were, John, both of the kids were with me when I bought it for Mike and both of the kids were with Mike when he bought it for me and they didn't say anything. So. I don't know if that's the strangest gift, but my wife and I got married December fourth. Does that count? Yeah, yeah har, har. <laughs> and, and Cassie was born December twenty first. Does that count? That would be probably stranger. <laughs> uh, if it was, if it was me. Cassie's Cassie's the even keeled one. Even keeled. Hmm. Well, you know, okay. Compared to, compared to Nikki. Uh, Mike and I got married December 29th too. I think there's a lot of military types who uh, got married in the month of December when we could sneak away from wherever we were. We were out in California. You got married in December? December 29th. Yes, sir. We got permission. We got special permission from the Archdiocese to get married during Advent. How about that? Yep. We got married. Figgy. We got married. Figgy, did you, you got married somewhere <laughs> close to that time too, didn't you, Figgy? Or you in November? Figgy doesn't even know who I'm talking to her about. <laughs> Linda. 
Linda, <laughs> you're Piggy Jingle Sparkles. <laughs> Piggy Jingle Sparkles. <laughs> what? When did you get married? September 11th, 1982. September or December? September. I told ah, you. Ah, okay. You're younger than me and you're married less than me. I got you beat. 1967. You got, got married wow. the same church my parents got married in in downtown Holly at St. Rita's. Where when were you married in 67? July 1st. April 16th for us. All right. In which year? 1967. 67. That's when I graduated from high school. Ah, that, that was a day before I turned nine years old. Yeah. <laughs> I was four years old at this time. But we all know that Amanda's the baby here, right? I was trying not to say that my mom was only six. <laughs> <laughs> because that would be rude. <clears throat> yeah. When Any does more? that stop you? Yeah. Hey, I'm not usually rude on purpose. I might be dumb. <laughs> How do you rude. think I invited you to this club? <laughs> oh. Oh. It's because I have such an amazing motorcycle. Um, so any other strange Oh, when'd you get one? <laughs> oh, hey, I got a strange gift. Hold on. Oh, we want to know. Oh, Mickey, those pants are amazing. <laughs> she said she had her pajama bottoms on. I had forgotten. I had forgotten. <laughs> Here it is. Wedding gift. Not that it's strange. It's just never, ever worked. Ever? <laughs> From the exact same time it went as when we got it, we have tried and tried and tried to make it work. It's pretty. We, we got almost the same setup for a wedding gift, except there was a candle inside. Yeah, I mean, it's it was a almost gift. the same thing. Yeah, we got one of those, the same thing. Got a clock, double A battery, and we've changed the battery a couple hundred times. We took it to the clockmaker once, and we decided it was never really worth all that much, other than it's pretty. It's been sitting on the shelf. For 35 years, oh. it never tells time. <laughs> it's never it tells a time. It's right twice, twice a day. day. That, that's not true. It is right twice a day. It's right twice a day. And we, we so never I don't, I don't know how to feel. We don't know who gave it to us. So we're afraid, <laughs> to, give it, we're afraid to give it to Goodwill or anything. So it's been sitting on the shelf forever. I, I don't know how to feel about the fact that four people in this group just made the same horrible clock joke at the exact same time. <laughs> Your day is coming, my husband. My husband just walked in and said, that clock is like your husband. And I was like, where is this going? And he said, it's right twice a day because we had to have five people make that joke at the exact wow. same time. <laughs> All right, so how about the best Christmas gift you've ever given someone? Ooh, same one. <laughs> hey, good. Good. All this. Obviously, it's Cassie, not you. <laughs> and I believe that, I believe Debbie gave you that. <laughs> well, That's for Christmas one year, I made my little girl a rocking horse. And uh, she held on to that for a number. Of, matter of fact, I think she still has it. And she's 42. That's awesome. I mean, does she still ride it? <laughs> I actually, <don't. laughs> hey, Deb, is that Sprite or Everclear? What are you drinking tonight? <laughs> Everclear would be okay. No, I'm doing a, uh, this is that Sprite Zero Sugar. I couldn't find like diet Sprite. So I was like, mm, okay, well, this will work. It'd be fine. Whiskey mixes with Sprite just fine. It probably, does. it probably does. No, Who's you do. Ooh. 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 <laughs> well, that's that's what my absolute citron. Got. My seventeen-year-old got a, a mixing kit, a cocktail mixing kit. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. You're he's not even really that interested in drinking them. He, he likes tasting them, but he's mostly for us. He likes the mixing. That's awesome. I need that. I need a kid who wants to. Actually, that's Maggie. She's always asking if she can make us drinks. Of course, I say no because she's far too young to partake in those types of things. Let's My stepdaughter was a bartender for a while, and that was that was interesting. But she doesn't come over often enough. 
<laughs> well, then I think you need to tell her you, you're out of ideas for, uh, for drinks. No, we actually come up with some pretty good ideas, but she she was better on the traditional stuff. We come up with ideas. We had that. So we uh, come up with the strange drinks, not gifts, but strange so, drinks. So as, what is the strangest but good experiment drink you've come up with? Well, while we were watching the debates, we, uh, we uh, experimented with two different uh, types of El Presidentes, and they were totally <laughs> different. And... Uh, they were they were about as good as the debates. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> that bad, huh? They sucked, huh? <laughs> we, hope, we hope to never experience either again. So that's we'll just leave it at that. Uh, have to have one for four years now. Nice. Uh, I, I lost my train of thought because Jerry sent me something <laughs> and I got distracted. Um, so we were at strangest gifts, we're best gifts. We're still on best gifts. What are, what is the best gift you've ever given or gotten from someone for, for Christmas or whatever? I think we're all Christmas celebrators in here, but for any, how about for a new holiday? I've got my engagement ring from my husband last year, Christmas. So we had no time for engagement. So he made it, uh, a little bit later, eight years <laughs> later, pretty much. So that was funny because he thought I have to, you know, like the American tradition more, I have to have both together. So he made it last year. I was very impressed. Yeah. So you had to get married in a rush? Yes, of course. I came over, I came over in August, the first time. Uh, to America, and then I had to go out of the country, and I came back on the 11th of December, and then in February, we was at the lawyer, at the immigration lawyer, and she told us, okay, she cannot leave again, they will not let her in again, so we had to marry, and then, you know, in uh, February 12th, we married. So, well, lucky him. Yeah. So you are the best gift he's ever gotten for Christmas. There you go. That was earlier, but <laughs> hey, Mike, what's the best gift you ever got for Christmas? What? He's gonna fail and not say me because I just know what wedding anniversary is. <laughs> that was my best New Year's gift. That was his, oh, that was his best New Year's. Oh. <laughs> Suck up. <laughs> I, I know you're five. better than that, Mike. Oh, he, he actually just came back and said it was the Matchbox Speed Track. <laughs> the one with the with the the trigger. No, no, no not that, that one. Trigger. You had to you had to to wind it up, and it and it would shoot the matchbox cars as they went. So matchbox cars are apparently a better gift than this wife that he's had for twenty years. You didn't get those matchbox <laughs> tracks made awesome swords. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Yeah, so that. <laughs> those matchbox tracks hurt when you got hit with oh, them they, like swords. That's why they made awesome swords. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Okay, so Mike had a serious one. We um, we adopted a family one Christmas, a local family oh, anonymously. Nice. We adopted a local family anonymously, but we kind of knew we knew who one of the kids was because he played rugby for Mike, and um, we didn't realize that he was going to get the bike. So he rode the bike that we got him to practice, and that was kind of a cool, mm -hmm. like you know, to see that come full circle. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. So, all righty, guys. I think I'm out of random questions to ask. Well, I think for me, my favorite gift was the uranium PU-36 explosive, explosive space, space modulator. modulator. <laughs> and, and if you're any fan of Bugs Bunny, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, between, the Earth <laughs> <laughs> between Mars and Candy Pie's spear and magic helmet over there and... Uh, Marvin the Martian, Twinkle, Marvin the Martian, Twinklekins over there. I think that's that's at least two references to Bugs Bunny tonight. That explains the big pink suit too, doesn't it? It does. Oh, oh no no no! Pink suit is John disappeared. Oh, there's John. I like that name better than John. John. You like Sparkle Twinklekins better? I feel like you guys. Should oh hell yeah! Be. He's they engraved that on that uh, slow motorcycle of his. I told it. I was thinking we could all have these made up as patches to go on our on our jackets. There you go, <laughs> John. I've been dying to ask since you talked about that rocking horse. How much faster is that than your Indian? <laughs> oh 
there. Wow. Hold on, Jerry. Sorry, I have something done. for you. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, you, you'll laugh at this sparkle twinkle, Kins. We went on Saturday, we went to the, to the motorcycle shop and I was looking at the bobbers again, and, you know, dreaming. And I got a text today that was from the, the woman who was the salesperson the last time I went in. And she said, hey, my office manager noticed you looking at the Indian again this weekend. Would you like to talk some more? <laughs> and I was like, Shh. Now, which, which dealer did you go to? Uh, Loudon Motors out here. It's the, okay. a bunch of different, they've got Indians and Triumphs. Mike was looking at that, uh, the Royal Enfield Himalayan. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Our ho sorry, local Himalayan. Harley guys. So our local Harley guys got the uh, Enfield. How far away are you from uh, Hagerstown? Um, 30 minutes or so, 35 minutes. Try Twigs. Yeah, try Twigs. They, they have an Indian shop and then they some, sell some uh, Hondas too. Although I don't see any gold wings on the lot. Yeah, the only thing about the place down here is when we mentioned that they didn't have the color I wanted and I'd like to just order it and bring it in, they were like, oh, we don't like to do that. I was like, well, do you like to make sales? Because I want a white one. <laughs> so, Are you looking at the Scout? Yeah, the Scout Bobber. That's a cool bike. It is. Well, it's got a 20-inch yep. It's got a 26 inch seat height. So for my 27-inch legs, it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it's a fun ride. That thing will well, and it just, the, the, um, the balance on it, the center of gravity is so low. While we were there, I went over and I sat on, um, honey, was it the Triumph? Yeah. Went over and sat on a similar Triumph cruiser. And it's just, it was hard to even stand it up. It's so, it's the same curb weight, but it's so much heavier because it's so top heavy. Yeah. Rory, isn't that Beamer BMW uh, uh, bagger pretty low too? If I remember right. You're a muted bell. Um, That's the Grand American. Okay. Yeah, it's a BMW, but it's it's called the Grand American. That's pretty low bike too. That's a new bike, right? Is that? Yeah, the... about, it's about two years old. Yeah, they. I think they had one in the showroom at the place that I was at. They have. Um, they have. We were actually looking at the zeros too. Those electric bikes that I was talking about. Yeah. But yeah, everything is so tall, and I'm just not. So, so shoot, I'll have to get an Indian. Yeah. Not, you? That's okay. We all have toe straps. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say no, the electric you're... bike, the electric Harley needs two batteries. Once that got off the sound, it makes. <laughs> <laughs> I, test I don't know the point of an electric bike. I mean, isn't part of the thrill, the, the noise? Nope. <laughs> yeah, no. Anybody that kind I, of noise, you can't hear your pedal, your uh, your peg scrape. <laughs> That's never been a problem with me. Yeah, weird. <laughs> Actually, I was just watching a review of that Scout, and one of the things that they fixed was that the pedals scraped too too uh, early. Mm. Scott, were you saying that you test rode one of the electric bikes? I test drove the electric Harley, and then years ago, I test drove the Indian Scout, too. Wow. Yeah, they had them in San Francisco as a demo kind of thing. And I would have liked to get the, the Harley on the freeway, but other than that, it felt pretty good. And it does this thing at idle, uh, you know, idle. You're sitting at a stop sign parked, and it's got a pulse. It's got like a heartbeat. You can feel through the saddle so that you know it's still powered up. That's odd it's kind of trippy yeah it's like but i get it i get it because i drove a friend of mine I, my um when my jeep was in the shop they gave me this minivan and it did that does that thing where it shuts off when you're at a stoplight and i oh, yeah. hate it. it freaked me out every time it did it like it wasn't going to start again my bmw did that too but did anybody here ride an electric bike and what is the experience with that you know I've test driven them, but the last time I drove a Zero, which was maybe eight years ago. Okay, not the newer newer models. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, Debbie's uh, Debbie a hot ride. Debbie had one of the original hybrid uh, Ford uh, vehicles. Yeah. And I had that thing out. I don't know, Rory might remember this, when we were doing the haunted house, but I was out putting up signs and stuff at different spots. 
and that thing cut out whereas I was out putting out the sign and when it cuts out it locked the doors automatically too that sucked <laughs> Yeah, but the, the, for example, all the German cars, the BMW, the Mercedes, yeah. they do that. And you have to, when you open, want to open the door, you have to take it twice, you know, that you can go out. But I got a, um, I got a hybrid uh, Mercedes uh, four weeks ago. So, and it's pretty awesome how silent they are. You know, when they have the, when you want to go backwards, they make always a beep, 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 because otherwise you, you will hit some people. They will not hear you, you know? You, you have to know that you know the car is, is running, you know? It's unbelievable. And on mistletoe, the funny thing about that is if my friend Torsten over in Nordegebiet, he thinks it's hilarious that in the U.S. the beeping sound is inside the car to remind the driver you're in reverse. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stupid. Kind of. That's stupid. But it's, it's, it's really nice, but I think it's, it's a little bit, uh, we call it mobile packung. You know, uh, mobile packung is something, it looks good, but it is not that good. You know, when you have a hybrid car and you, you can only drive like I, maybe 40 miles, so all the short distance I can make, otherwise I need the gasoline. And it's not charging, you know, when you're driving. That's what I thought, oh, why they cannot do it better? You know, it's so expensive. And nobody wanted in, in Texas. That's the, the funny part. So uh, that is why we can, you know, press the price so much because of that situation. You know, Texas don't like hybrid cars. I don't know why. I think it's also when you make uh, so many more miles because of the electric motor. I would like everybody to welcome Olive Rizzelfritz. Who hey, used Olive. To <laughs> used to be Otto. Oh, Olive. And I, I misspelled his name. I was going to say, does Otto even know what's going on? Otto has no idea that his name is now Olive Rizzelfritz. <laughs> Hi, Otto. I'm sorry I'm late. That's okay. I'm sorry you didn't know your name is Olive Rizzelfritz. Did you see your name on, on your screen? Yes. How did that happen? Magic. Christmas. Magic. Christmas. Is, that like, is that like the other, the other reindeer, as in... All of the other right? All of the other, yes. I'm so glad that you that joke. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm glad that you could join us. I know being out on the west coast, the left coast that makes it a little tough. We got we got well, both. I'm sure it's five o'clock somewhere, so I so I can get a drink once this is over. <laughs> Did you say the left coast? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is everybody drinking? That's one thing I didn't ask. We have founders. Um, what are we Lots doing? Of wine. KBS Mackinac, Maple Mackinac Fudge Stout. I'm having a Muddy Blurry. I'm having a, a Muddy Blurry. Muddy, muddy Blurry, yes. <laughs> what, what is a Muddy Blurry, Mr. Noel? It, 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 it's a uh, Bloody Mary. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> muddy Blurry. Muddy Blurry sounds like it should definitely have Bailey's and some form of chocolate in it. Yeah. Blair, what are you having? I got a glass of wine. What kind of wine are you drinking, sir? Red? Jingle. Jingle. A little Cabernet, yeah. Nice. yeah. Jingle. Oh, and some red velvet Baileys. I actually just got some uh, peppermint bark rosada. I got to try that sometime. And it's not, it's not, it's pink. It's pink. Tasty. Good. It, it's, it goes right along with your name, poinsettia truffle trifle. It does. It does. And, and like poinsettia is a pretty awful name to try and sign three or four times a day. <laughs> yeah, but your your truffle trifle, that, that's kind of hard to say. It's right up there with <laughs> my Kayla Lynn Schaller. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody needs to, you need to adopt the, everybody is required to use these names in all rotary, motorcycling rotary until the end of the year. For the rest of the year, for all the for rest the of the meetings. As long as you news, use the name I sent you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, share. Tell us, tell us. I can't. We're recording. Oh. Um, but that was a joke, you guys, because we good. don't have any more meetings this year. But oh. you know. <coughs> it's so sad. Yeah, we'll be um, 
David and I will be hanging out in Disney World before we are all hanging out together again. It's so sad. You could What's share that? that. You could share that name in the chat box. <laughs> I could, but no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it's got a four-letter word in it, and that word is not snow. Ah. <laughs> it's got two four-letter words in it. Four letter words in it. Why are you turning red, Amanda? I'm not. Okay, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> hey, it's actually the lights in here, you guys. Cut me some slack. Also, I'm drinking and I've been wearing pajamas all day. I'm roasting, but hey, I'm wearing pajamas on the bottom. I know. Well, I, I just you can't see them, but I've got sock monkeys. I mean, you should all be jealous of my cool. oh, I got I got reindeer, or no, I guess they're moose. I got moose. Moose nieces. Uh, Figgy Jingle Sparkles, are you leaving? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you next year. All Peace. right. Have a holly jolly. Yep. And booze. Holly, holly jolly. Holly jolly. You guys. Have a holly jolly. So we should create a drink called the holly. Wait, who else just fell off? Lynn, goodbye, and then three people dropped. Deborah. Best of us feel. It's a festivus for the rest of us. It's a festivus for the you guys. <laughs> I got the most amazing. Uh, Would you please? The most me? amazing gift from my secret Santa today. It's a coffee cup, and it's got a quote from the movie The Birdcage. Oh. Williams. And it's the quote where Robin Williams is uh, directing the person on stage, and he's like, "You have to do. You have to have a dance. You have fussy, fussy, fussy." <laughs> and it's all on a coffee cup, and I was like, "This person knows me so well. <laughs> this is perfect." <laughs> But keep it all inside. I like your new Carmen Miranda thing. Mm. That's a good picture. <laughs> oh goodness, guys. Well, hey, since it's five till, let's uh, and we're we're winding down. I think we all just lost so much steam when Linda left. Yeah. When uh, Biggie Jingle Sparkles left us, that I am going to pick on. Where did you get the names? I, I totally made most of these up, actually. Um, but I brought up a Christmas elf name generator, uh, which I will share in the chat because it's incredibly <laughs> useful. Um, and I picked some first names and some last names and stuck them together. Except for Fizzy Tipler there, who picked her own name. And I feel like it's very appropriate. And actually, Jingle Tinselbottom is mine from earlier today that I decided to keep. I'm going to leave this and see how many people in Zoom meetings actually notice what it says, so. Yeah, I, I definitely um, have a story about leaving names. Be careful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so who is that? I was, I was, you guys distracted me. I was in the middle of picking on somebody to lead us in the four-way test. Uh, no, I, I don't. I, but if I leave this name up here, this is Jeff's business account. So I think he can't be poinsettia. Would right? you like me to change it back to you or are you, are you good with changing it yourself? Please. Um, uh, I'll change it back when I leave. Okay. All right. I think it should, because I changed it, I think everybody should change back. But if not, it'll make for a funny story at the beginning of the year when we come back together. So, um, <laughs> Olive Rizzlefritz. Oh. Hello, hello. Otto, would you like to join, or would you like to lead us, sir, in the four-way test to end our meeting tonight? I'm picking on you because you haven't been here for a bit. I, I, I can maybe do, do two. We'll help. I promise. <laughs> Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill? Build goodwill. Will, and and better better will it be beneficial to all concerned? And will it be fun? Oh, you missed it. <laughs> it. It will always be fun with us. You guys know that. So again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Um, there is actually a, a solar, a, a, not a solar, a uh, celestial event on the 21st, where yep. I think Saturn and Jupiter are going to be aligned and Mercury, wait, no, that's a different thing. Saturn and Jupiter are going to be aligned. And it, <laughs> yes, yep. and it's going to be called the um, conjunction. The conjunction, the great conjunction. Thank you, Otto. Um, the star. Of the sea. It looks like the northern or the star of Bethlehem, which is kind of yep. cool. Yep. It'll probably be raining at my house because that's how it does here. But I hope you guys all have a fantastic holiday season. I look forward to seeing everybody in the new year. And I believe that will mean that our next meeting is not until the January 6th. Oh. 
Yeah. The January new year. 6th. All right. January 6th will be our next meeting because next week is Christmas and the week after that will be the fifth Friday or the fifth Wednesday. So and let's hope like hell 2021 is a lot better than 2020. And then, uh, I mean, the bar is pretty here. low. The bar is pretty low. But I'll tell you guys not to get sappy. Some things that I have appreciated this year so far. I have spent more time with both of my kids, neither of which I anticipated being able to spend time with than I ever thought that I'd be able to. So that's a cool thing, right? So try to find the silver linings. Mike just said, yeah, spending time with the kids. That's great. And uh, <laughs> am spending time with my husband. God help me. Um, so I do love you guys all very much. And I hope to see you in the new year. And Merry Christmas. I will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye. Merry Bye. Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Amanda.